Hey everyone, morning. My name is Amanda Fitzgerald and I'm an independent stamping up demonstrator in Sydney, Australia. So welcome, welcome uh, to my live, my live creative time. Um, if you're catching this, then you probably are catching the replay. And thanks heaps for tuning in and watching along. Um, I am creating with one of my favourite product or suite of products, really. Um, I can't just say one product because everything in, in the product range um, I love. So I'm going to create. And I've been trying to create with this product for some three weeks, if I'm maybe that long. Anyway, at least that long. Um, so I'm back. I'm live. I apologize. Um, of course, I was always going to come back. I love my card making. Um, hey, Nola, how are you? I am here. So I'm going live during the day. So usually I go live on a Friday night at 8.30. Um, however, I'm not that great at 8.30 um, at the moment with this um, virus that I've been trying to kick. So I thought I'm going to go live at my best during the day at the moment um, so that I, I can at least um, show you guys what I've been creating because I've been dying to show you guys how to make these two beautiful cards. So um, we're going to create those today um, with the All Autumn Bundle of products. So super, super exciting. I have kind of been letting you guys know that this catalog is now live to order from. So we have our holiday catalog um, all ready for everyone to order from. So there is some beautiful products in here. Everything that kind of represents holidays. So um, Halloween, autumn, Christmas, um, there's all sorts of things in here. Um, pockets of all different kind of goodies so it really is lovely um, and and it, people are really loving um, what's in this catalogue including me you can see I've still got some notes I'm actually going to be putting an order in today on some of these little some of these little tickets so um, if you like what you see today or um, you would like to shop with me well if you'd like to shop with me because you like what you see or if you already have your wish list from this one um, please do feel free to shop with me um, if you do spend over fifty dollars I love to send you out a lovely thank you gift um, and of course every every order gets a card so that um, that would be awesome and the support would be great so uh, please do share this with anyone that you think would like to learn a little bit more around card making I do do scrapbooking as well but majority of the time I come live and I do a card, card making a card <laughs> you know I make I love making my cards so yeah um I think that's about all I have to tell you so we do have we do have a Christmas um because we are definitely well and truly getting into our Christmas crafting period so we do actually have a new Christmas craft crafting kit however I don't have mine I don't have it yet so I have ordered one um, but I have not yet get it so I will probably get it next week or it'll probably come this afternoon who knows all right so let's get started on some of these cards and I'll show you how to make these in fact this one here is is really a technique that you can use um, on on with any stamps um, it, it is a lovely uh, technique and we're going to use the the soft pastels um, so like your chalk to create this one so yeah all right now let's get started as I say that we need Versamark and <coughs> I must remember where I put mine I'll change the camera around and we shall have a look I'll have to have a quick look where mine is all right catch you soon okay I'll turn some light oh how about we don't look at the roof there we go we'll turn some light I have got the sunshine out today a beautiful sunshine um but we will shed a little bit more light on the situation now let me quickly just see if i can find my verse mark ah that was not me being excited about finding my verse mark but i did find my verse mark yes so to do this technique you will need the verse mark but what i was going to say to you is less than a month now we have world card making day which is an awesome day um, of course, anyone who likes crafting, card making, it is the day to get together and craft. So Stamping Up actually put a free event on for anyone, 
for customers and demonstrators. So it's on the website. If you go to the website and you click on World Card Making Day, any one of the pictures and register, you can actually join in on a three hour event where they make three cards. They teach you how to make three cards. And one of them, there's three different um, bundle of products that they'll be using. This is one of them. And I just um, received this one, which is an awesome punch. Um, and then some lovely sentiments. I love this one that says, let's eat cake. Um, super, super cool. So um, jump on the website. So if you go to amandafitzgerald.stampingup.net, that will take you to the website. If you do order with me, be sure to use one of my links or pop in this host code. And that's where I can give you a free gift when you spend over $50. But register for the event. Now it's on the 7th of October. I hope I've got that date right. Yeah, it is. It's, it's Saturday the 7th of October here in Australia. Um, it's from 2 p.m. to 5 p.m. However, if you register, it is most important that you register. If you register and you can't make that time, um, I can't actually see comments, and you can't make that time, you can watch it any time. I think it's available for about two to three weeks afterwards. Um, so you can watch it any time that suits you, but only if you're registered. So if you're registered, then you can watch kind of your video on demand or replay, replay whenever you want to, um, whenever you can, or you can join in on the day and then um, watch it again later and create some more. I'm just moving around here because my desk has been quite a mess. I have mess, lots of mess around me, guys, but um, we won't worry about that. All right, now I've got this up on my iPad because I thought I can't see anyone commenting. So it's not my usual spot, but what I'll do is I'll flick this up tonight at 8.30 um, where people are usually expecting me to go live, but like I say, I haven't for a while. Um, and that way they can can catch this recording as well. I've got my cup of tea because I do get a little bit croaky, hopefully not so much during the day. But let's have a look at this um, suite of products. I actually have sent quite a few of these cards out um, and everybody that has received them has really, really liked them. So um, yeah, really pretty. Um, but I might actually, we might change it up. So actually, I'll show you. But anyway, let's get the catalogue and I will show you on the front page all, all, all about autumn is on pages 42, 42 to 40, or probably, it probably comes onto this page as well. So as usual, some beautiful um, images of cards that you can copy. Um, but yes, yeah, so in the suite, so you can order the whole, you can see me, I read and ordered, <laughs> it was my first bundle of products. So if you use this code here, 162, 193 that gets you everything on this page so you get the stamp set the dies the embellishments the two packets of ribbon the embossing folder the gold um, distressed paper the oxidized copper paper should I say 12 by 12 and then the all about autumn designer series paper is six by six um, so I'll show you these products so here is the beautiful ribbon here's the ribbon really really nice so you get a nice thick one and then you get um, a beautiful like copper color. It's like a copper clay color. I don't know whether it actually says it. Metallic copper, they call it. Yeah, natural and metallic. So that's really nice. Let's put that there. This is the um, distressed tile embossing folder. Now I actually didn't use this one to create this card, but this actually, this, embosses your your um cardstock and makes it look really pretty and you can actually put um some ink on these and then run it through your embossing machine and it really makes it look like that distressed if you like kind of those distressed card looks this is really cool for that so that's the embossing folder now you can also buy these all individually so if you like anything individually, you can always, um, if you're online and you type in all, um, all about autumn, it will actually bring up the items individually as well. Or they're in the catalogue down the side here. 
There is some beautiful uh, bling, so really nice bling. Um, and they come in uh, mossy, so it's mossy meadow, moody mauve, crumb cake, and copper clay, the colours, so really nice. Um, and then we have uh, the stamp set and the dies. And the dies, now mine are going to be messy because I have been using this quite a bit. Um, as you can see, I've still got some bits, but there is lots and lots. If you like your leaves, which I do, I actually, I like trees, but I like leaves better, <laughs> if that makes sense. So there's, there's insides, there's lee, um, there's outsides, there's um, you, you even um, some sentiment, sentiment, um, cat, like borders, whatever you want to say, the ones that you cut the sentiments out with. So lots and lots to choose from in here. Um, so it is a, how many, oh, oh, oh. And I did make this one really, really messy. 17 dies in that one. So that's quite cool. So that's the stamp set and die. And I'm actually going to leave them out because I'm going to leave the leaves out. <laughs> there we go. That one. And then we've got the beautiful papers. Oh, now I haven't got the other papers. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. That's, these are the other papers. These are really nice. So these are a 12 by 12. And these are the oxidized copper. So I've chopped into these quite a bit. But these ones come in the pretty peacock. And the copper. So really, really nice, isn't it? Um, yeah. All right. So I'll put them back in there. Looking around. I thought, where's my trimmer? Because I know I was um, using my trimmer for some party invitations I was making. But it's, it's, back, it's back in here. All right. So... That can just go back there. And then it's got this awesome paper. So the paper is six by six. Um, and you get 48 sheets. I've actually got a double packet in here, guys, because I um I did go a half a, a half a share with someone. Um in my team I do paper shares. Um and one of my team members we went halves. Hey Gail, how how are you? Long time no see, no here. Hope you're doing all right. Um, yeah, so some beautiful papers in here. This pretty peacock is amazing. So they're back and front. So the back is a little bit more um, like graphics, like pictures. But this is really blingy. The other side's really blingy. I've seen some awesome cards done with this one. And then you've got the pretty peacock with the pumpkins. The pumpkins. Um... And then that one there, I love that one. So you can see I've used that one in this one here. I've chopped into these quite a bit. That's a really nice blankety looking one. Some beautiful trees. And the pink one, that one looks familiar because I've used that one in there. And some more blingy ones. And another kind of um, landscape looking one, beautiful. Blingy and, and like a knitted one. <coughs> Another beautiful um that that alone put on a card, put on a sentiment, and your card's done. The back, the knitted one again with the back, some more um books, some beautiful leaves, uh like a a seat, like a leather seat. And that's beautiful, that one. The leaves. I'll bet you mix some of these up. The pumpkin. Um, yeah, I think I think that's all of them. These are very mixed up, my papers. But how, how cool is that set, really? Lots and lots of variety there. You started to chop on and off. Not really bad yet. Oh, okay. Oh, I don't know. Well, I actually do know. Hopefully I am okay. I do have my son home. He he has been unwell as well. And he is feeling a little bit better this afternoon. But um, I wasn't able to send him to school because he's still got a rash. Not that I know what the rash is. But anyway, um, neither does doctor. But yeah, can't go to school because of the rash. 
so he's on the computer so that could be cutting into my um, internet yes all right so let's have a look at this card here first so this card i've done with very vanilla i do like very vanilla and it works really well um, with the colors in the in these sweet in this suite of products so the very vanilla now i'm just going to and it actually <coughs> i thought it worked well but myself but i very often use the catalog or the back of the designer series packs uh, for the colors um, to tell you what colors like coordinate well with it so copper clay mossy meadow pretty peacock moody mauve very vanilla which i thought yes for sure um, and copper foil so i'm going to use i'm actually thinking no, I will show you. Like, no, we'll do this card first. So we're going to have some very vanilla. And I actually teamed it up with Early Espresso on this card. So I might change it up and we might use copper clay. We might use some copper clay this time. Something different. Some copper clay. Um, and then the, the uh, ink pad I used is Early Espresso. And we'll stick with early espresso. Cool. All right. So, well, first off, we'll grab a piece of cardstock, and we will cut that directly in half to the fourteen point eight, like that, and then we will fold it. Oh, actually, we won't put that piece back in there because we will also chop. We'll grab our copper clay. We'll do our we'll do our cutting first. Hey, grab my copper clay, and we're going to cut a piece at ten centimeters. Actually, you know, ten centimeters. Ten centimeters by uh, fourteen point four. 14.4 um 14.3 sorry 14.3 so that's that there now we'll just grab actually and then we'll because that one was cut at 10 so this one will be cut at 9.5 9.5 and then um 13.8 Hopefully I've got that right. That should fit into there. If my calculations are right, my calculations are probably not right there. Why has that not happened? We go 10 centimetres by 13.8. That is 13.8. So this one needs to be 13.3. Let's go 13.3, hey? 13.3, give that one a go. Oh, my garbage bin is full. So that's going to lay in there. Now what I might do too is, I actually did stamp this on. But I'm gonna try something today. I stamped that on with um, I Am Thankful. Um, but today I might use today and every day, but I'm going to try and do something. I'm going to try and do this with, with this technique. But anyway, we'll see how it goes. So on here, we're going to do our leaf. So first off, from our autumn leaves stamp set, we're going to get this one here. And I'm not sure what you would call that of the leaf, but the, the skeleton of the leaf. I don't think that's it. We'll go with that. Um, just get my block. Oh, I wonder if it fits on this block here. So there we go. And then I'm going to do this one in, oh, I'm just going to, while I think of it, because I didn't do it, I'll grab my, my bone folder and just 
run that along there just so that's sitting nice and flat. It always bugs me if it's not sitting flat. So we'll grab our early espresso. I've actually, oops, I've actually sent some of these cards out as well. So hopefully people have been receiving some of my happy mail. And then I stopped. <laughs> so we're just going to stamp that on there like that. And that's that done. So we close that one up and we'll give that a clean. Oh, hey, Rosemary, how are you? Hope you're having a nice day. Hopefully it's nice weather everywhere. It is nice in Sydney today. So that's that. Then we will grab the bigger, the bigger leaf, which is this one here. And we'll put this one back. And then what, while I think of it, I'll get out the oh, today and every day. Or oh, what have we got? What have we got? To have you as a friend today and every day for all you do. Today and every day. That's kind of one you could use for all sorts of occasions. So we'll put that there. We'll get a little block here. And we will put that one there. Oh, I'm going to just try and straighten that up a bit. Whoop. That's a bit better. Like that. And then we use Versamark. Okay, so Versamark is what we use when we do our heat embossing. But it also works good for this. So I'm just going to get ready. Then I use um, some daubers. So these are some daubers that have been used in ink, but they will work fine. So I'm just going to grab out a couple. It's something that you can only use for a little while and then you have to replace them. So I'll just make sure there's no colour on them. So that one's all right. And that one's all right. And then we grab our soft pastel chalks. And we just pull them out like that. And then this pack here, I'm just trying to see where it tells you the colours that are in here. Coastal Cabana, Coastal Cabana, Daffodil Delight, Flirty Flamingo, Gorgeous Grape, Granny Apple Green, Mossy Meadow, Nighty Navy and Poppy Parade. So we're going to use, oh, I'm going to use a bit of Gorgeous Grape with Mossy Meadow with a hint of um, Daffodil Delight. We need one more. We need one more. Um, One more of these things. We'll use that one for my for my purple. I'm just going to make sure that that has got no purple on it. No, that's okay because we don't want any ink. Because I've used these for ink, so you want to get the ink off. You could use cotton cotton wool buds as well. Um, but yeah, the chalks are cool. These soft pastels are cool. Okay, so then we ink up our leaf. And then we um, we post, oh God, stamp it. My words are still not working. Stamp it over our skeleton. And then we lift it off. And then what we're going to do is grab my take your pick tool. And I'll just, oh, actually, I don't need to do that because it's actually the other side. So the other side of our take, take your pick tool is this one here, and I just use that one to scratch a little bit of this. So I'm gonna have a little bit of that color, a little bit of this color, and a little bit of the um, Daffodil Delight as well. And then I'm just gonna grab, first off, I'm gonna do my Mossy Meadow. So you just put it in the chalk, and then you just put it wherever you want to on the image. And it will just pick up that chalk. We'll do some um, gorgeous grape. I don't know whether, yeah, it is called gorgeous grape. So we'll do just a little bit of that. 
and then we'll grab a little bit of that daffodil delight so it's totally up to you but you know what leaves can very often have all different colors in them so see how that works oh just try not to get that on the rest of your card the blowing technique works perfectly <laughs> never seen chalks used before well there you go this is an awesome I like using my chalks this way that's probably one of the only ways I do where I use my chalks um, and then what I'm going to try and do is with my little actually no first off I'm going to decide so I actually did put some designer series paper because the designer series paper is amazing so we need to um, we're going to use some of this colour because that looks really nice um, and probably maybe with the backing of that let's have a look yeah that might look nice actually so I'm going to chop a little bit of that all I'm going to do is just chop um, what do we want we'll go four centimetres And then we'll do this one at uh, three centimetres. Oh no, 2.5 centimetres. 2.5 like that. And then that can go there and that can go there. So really, that's totally up to you how you want to do that. Um, now what I will do is I'll grab some glue. And, oh, that's a new glue. Let's use one of the older ones. Oh, and that would look nice too. Oh, what's the back of that one? That's, oh, I don't think we need pumpkins, but oh, I like that. Oh, what, which one? I think that one looks better. Oh, I might even do that one. Yeah. I think I'm changing my colour. I don't think I'm going to use the copper clay. I'm going to get some pretty peacock out. This card's changing. Pretty peacock. So I'm just going to put those chalks up here for a second. And oh, first off, I've decided on those. So I'm going to grab a little bit of glue and just glue the back there and put that on there. Now I'm going to just put it to the side there and I'll show you why in a second and then I'll glue this one like that. So the reason I'll show you why I put that to the side. So I've put them to the sides because what I'm going to do now is I'm going to run that. Actually, I'm not going to run it through my trimmer. I'm actually going to use, use my scissors. Yeah, that, I like the blingy. Yeah. Um, I'm just going to trim that down like that and then like that. So we'll keep those two. We'll leave them there because they've got a little bit of glue on them. So I won't put them back in the paper. So that's that there. And see that it would have it would have gone on there, but. But Amanda says, no, we're going to get some um, Pretty Peacock. Love this colour. And the Pretty Peacock is going to measure, and I forget, so let's have a quick look. Pretty Peacock measures 10 centimetres by the 13.3. So we'll get the cutter in and we'll go... We'll go directly in half first because I know that'll do a card. And then it was 10 centimetres by 13.3. And I, I still got that wrong. I don't know how I got that wrong. doesn't matter I'm going to chop just a little bit off the bottom of that because I can
And it will work right now. <sighs> I've only, because I've not been well, I've only really been doing bits and pieces of card making. And um, yeah, I've had, had, some, had some special moments, as we do. So that one, that one is actually a little bit small on that card, but I still like it. So that goes like that. So we'll glue that down. So uh, Rosemary, Nola, anyone got this sweet? I actually um, thought, Gail, this you might have liked this one. I, I don't know whether this was one of the ones that you bought or um, I can't remember. I remember when we had the early access as the demonstrators, I, I recall you mentioning something, but it might have also been that you haven't got it yet, but it was on your list. So there we go. And then with this um, today and every day, I, I actually, I don't know. No, I, I was going to chalk it, but you know what? I'm not going to chalk it because I'd like it just to sit there. That's right. See, I did remember October. Yes. Which is not all that far away. And there you go, today and every day. Isn't that a nice, simple card? And like I say, you can do that with any kind of stamp, with your Versamark and your pastels. Pretty cool, hey? So that's that. Now, I wanted to show you this other one with um, designer series paper. Oh, while I mention it too, because I've got everyone, you know me, with giveaways, I have a giveaway running on my page at the moment for... Um, some lovely products. So these products here. So I've got this card, which is done with our masks. I've got some embellishments and some beautiful paper. So this I'm giving away. Check out the post. You've got to find the post where I've mentioned this. You'll see me holding it and just comment. All you've got to do is comment on that post because you'll, you'll be helping me because I'm actually going to give a, um, you know, Amanda and her spinner winners. Well, I'm trying a different app to um, help me draw this one. So, um, yeah, ran through the comments. So, um, yeah, be sure to find my post and go and comment on it and you'll be in the draw. Now, let me have a quick sip of my drink. And then I'm going to show you how I did this one here. <coughs> Not exactly this one. I'm going to change it up a little bit. Um, now I'm just going to clean up this stamp here. So this is actually a, a card that I watched Patty Bennett. So if, if you're one of my followers, you know I love Patty, Patty Bennett. And Patty, did, Patty, Patty Bennett did it a little while ago. And so did I. Um, but I wanted to show you how to do it because you can do it with any designer series paper you like. So, so I'm just trying to put some things away. All right. So you grab your designer series paper, whichever colours you want to use. And I'm just remembering my measurements. Lucky I've got my card because it has been a while since I've done this one. So I'm going to write this down. It's 9.5 centimetres. So this is what you want to cut your designer series paper to. 9.5 centimetres. Oops. To 13.8 So then we've just got to decide on some designer series paper. Oh, the bling. See, I love the bling. But you kind of want to mix it with a little, little bit of bling and a little bit of non-bling. See, that I like that, but I've used that one. I've got to do something different, Amanda. 
So I'm going to use this one. And that one. And that one. Yeah, let's do the greens. The greens. So we'll put we'll put pretty peacock away. We won't use pretty peacock this time. This time we'll use mossy meadow. Oops. That's some garden green that threw out threw, 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 dropped out at me. Uh that is old olive. Where is my mossy meadow? I've lost my little I have my cardstock in a little bit of an order but I've lost my little that tells me which is oh there it is mossy meadow um so we'll do some mossy meadow and we might actually do this one oh I'm actually thinking I really wanted to use some of this in it the copper That's all right, we can use, do that in some leaves. It's all right. Okay, so we're going to do black, black base. Haven't done a black base for a little while. So get a piece of black card out and we'll cut that one in half. So same measurement as I always do, 14.8. So we will do that. Now this is really good because you can make three cards quite quick. So let's do this. We go one, two. And then three. We'll just cut one more of these. So we've got three cards on the making. And then we're going to do um, Mossy Meadow at, just grab some Mossy Meadow out. Now I'm just going to do a little bit of measuring again because I'm pretty sure this is 10 centimetres. 10 centimetres by... 14.4, 10 centimetres by 14.4. So 10 centimetres by 14.4. So we'll go one, two, Oh, is that 10 centimetres? Probably not. Let's take, cut the 10 centimetres first. 10 centimetres. 14.4. That one. One, two, three. Now, these ones we want to cut, we, so whatever designer series paper you pick, you lay them all together, one, two, three, and you cut them together. So we're going to cut it at 9.5, like that, and then, what did I say? Look here, I wrote it down, 13.8, because brains, brains, bleh, still. Then, before we do anything more with this, I'm going to make sure that my one designer series paper fits in there. So that fits perfectly. All right, then what I'm going to do, so that's going to go with that. That's going to go with that. That's, and you know what? It, it's all about autumn, but with all the colours and that, it certainly sits into spring as well. So we've got our three bases there. One, two, three. Now, with these pieces here, again, they're all still together. Now, this part doesn't matter how you do it. So I'm just going to chop there to there. 
and what I do is take that out and lay that there and then I'm going to do another chop um, there to there like that and then lay them back together this is the part I'm always have fun with always Bear with me. <laughs> oh no. I had to, the the few times I've done this, I've had I've got very sometimes it's just worked, other times it's not worked. So uh, that goes like that. I even put put them away at one point and had to start again. I am confused. Where's my 9.5 edge? That's 10 centimetres, so it's not there. God. Are you yelling at the screen? Going, Amanda. What's that? That's not 9.5 either, is it? No. Okay, I'm going to sort that one out after, in the interest of time. Let's have another go. See, I'm not perfect. I'm still learning this one, but I wanted to show you this technique. Well, when it works. Okay, let me grab the pieces out again, if I can find them. Hang on a minute. That one. That one. And that one. Right, so 9.5 centimetres. I don't know what I did there. I think I've just spun it. Is anyone laughing at me? <laughs> I, know, I am no good at And that's exactly what I do with jigsaw puzzle. I go, I go, I'll, put, I'll just put that aside. So really what, what you probably need to do is grab your card. Here's another ID. So, oh, hang on, I've got to cut this right. So that's 9.5 by... 13.8. I always start a jigsaw puzzle and leave it for someone else. Oh, there you go. You probably just saw that. So that goes there. So then you can cut these any way you want. But I'm going to lay them on the card as soon as I cut it. So, boom, that goes there because that matches up. And then we're gonna do another chop, like this. And then we're gonna put it back straight down. So there's that one, and there's that one. That's a better way to do it. Do what I, <laughs> do what, don't do what I did first. So then all you've gotta do is you want that one. You wanna kind of put that up there, and then we're gonna do a little sort. So. This one goes here. This one can go there. This one can go down here. This one can go down here. Like that. This one can go here. This one can go down the bottom here. This one can go here. And then that one can go there. See how I've got now three fronts? So then I would just grab some glue on here. Now I'll just move that to the side. I'll grab some glue. And then I stick them on here. So I go one. Two. Whoops. Clean that glue up a little bit. And then three. Whoops. And make them 
all neat butt up to each other. And then that gives us a beautiful base to go on our card. So there's one. And we'll get another one. Like that. And we put this one over here. Oops. This one over here. And then that one down the bottom. Great for Christmas card making as well, this is. And then our last one. Whoop, that's going to be... Just move that out a little bit. Excuse me. That's because of all the whatever I've been trying to take to get better. That one can go there. And this one can go here. And there you go. So then all I've done is, oh, I, I like this one. I'm going to do this one. Then all I've done is I've grabbed, I've die cut out a few bits and pieces from the dies and we need a big one. So I'm just going to grab my machine over here. Um, so all I did, all I did was when I made a whole heap of these is I grabbed the dies <coughs> machine I'll try and show you what I did let me have my cup of tea again um, and then I grabbed some different colors so get some of this copper out So number one plate, number two plate, the bottom, my dies. So whoop, got it, got it. So I just measured because I want this big one. I just measured how, how big that one is and, and then I just cut that piece. Just chop that one like that. So then I just, I laid lots and lots. So I have that one and then on a um, another piece I would grab now I've just got to make sure this fits. So I just use all my scraps. Now that's not going to fit entirely, but you know what? That is okay. I'm going to do that still. And then I'm going to have some leaves out of this paper. And some more leaves out of this paper. And another one of those out of that paper. Um, and more leaves here. Um... And some more, why not? Just, you know, put put as many as you want on. If you've got the bigger the bigger plate, go crazy. So there we go. And then we put our other plate on top. Oops. Don't throw it on top. And then we bring that through, which is gonna be quite awkward for, awkward for me. Trying to do it in a picture for you guys. No. 
I'm just going to do it off to the side. I'm, I cannot do the handle that way. Because it's making them all higgledy pickledy. Right. Now we're okay. one so then I've got a whole heap cut out and then I'll just pull these all off Oops. so there we go we've got some more leaves good can you take a picture This is lovely to sit and watch some TV and cut some leaves. And then make heaps of with them. And if you're using this technique I just showed you, the, the, the providing you can do puzzles. <laughs> just <tricky. laughs> um, yeah, they look great. So we can do this here. Now, what I did with this, um, to get this kind of fringe effect, what I did was I just cut off a piece. Look at that. And just frayed it. And then that gave me, oops, coming back with me, just gave me a little bit of a fray, fray look. And you can fray both ends if you wanted to. I wasn't going to. And then when I laid it down, I thought, mm, yeah, I need to. So sometimes you've got to, you know, pull it this way, pull it that way to kind of find the thread. Um, and then you just thry, uh, fray, fray it however much you want to do. This is a really, a really good one, a really good ribbon to fray with because it's quite thick. So just like that. And then you've got your, your like that ribbon that's frayed. <laughs> but you, you wouldn't, you don't have to use that. Now I'm actually just thinking, I did use my circle punch. I used my circle punch to do this one. Um, but I'm actually going to, I think I might use this actually. So let me just, I'm going to do it in um, very vanilla. So I'm going to grab a bit of very vanilla here. No, I need a bit bigger than that. I was trying to be sneaky and pull it out without pulling it out properly. So I've got a bit of very vanilla here. Now I'm going to use, I'm going to do... Um, Where's my stamp set? Oh, I'm going to use um, I'm Thankful again. Is that that one? Where is I'm Thankful? Or with a grateful heart. No, that's not going to fit. So is I'm Thankful going to fit? Maybe not. Okay, hang on. That's obviously for one of the other that I'm thankful will fit in this one. So there is a, a few of them that will fit each sentiment. There you go. That one fits. Okay. So I'll put that one away. So we're going to, um, in, in Mossy Meadow, so we'll take this one off here and put I'm thankful on. In Mossy Meadow. Oh, I'm glad 
for some of you found me <laughs> on my unusual time slot there we go so I'm just going to go chop that out like that now find my top plate never can find my top plate because it's clear no idea where it's gone but I've got another one okay I'll find it now oh you know where it is <laughs> That's hilarious. That's where it shouldn't be. Right. There it is. So I'm going to glue this one down. Did you see my hot tip on my page the other day about using glue? I'm squiggly, 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 but I don't go near the edges because it oozes out that way. Like that. And then that one can go like that and like that. And then we want to put heaps of leaves but this one and oh look that might look nice oh that's nice see you can cut it out of all different types of paper and just stick it down wherever you want to stick that so I'm just going to put a bit of glue on that you could use the other side too but um, Put a little bit of glue and we'll stick that on there because that looks quite good and then we'll put some more glue on the back and that can go over our ribbon whoops like that and then we'll put another we'll get some dimensionals Stick some dimensionals on this one. Well, actually, what we'll do is I'm actually liking that up. So I'm going to stick that there. My ribbon's going crazy. Because I haven't stuck it down. But it's okay. Now I'm going to put a leaf coming out of there and then where's my other one gone here it is we'll glue this one down got some feet happening out there so my son must be looking for me god love him <laughs> and then I'm gonna put another one coming out of here but I'm going to put so a little bit of glue and then a dimensional that just gives it a little bit more like that so it's going to sit up a little bit from the page see I think that's enough actually but you can do as many as you want but I, I'm, I'm liking just that much and then we'll put some glue on this one and that can go just like that and then, of course, we need some bling. This one needs some bling. Didn't use bling for the other one. Um, where's my bling? Here it is. So we'll just pull these out like that. And we will use some mossy meadow ones. Yeah. So we'll go pick that one up.
wherever you want to put them. There we go. So hopefully, I must admit I enjoyed making those cards, but I'm going to finish the other ones later. Um, because now it's time to get organised to pick my daughter up from school. Um, yeah, isn't that beautiful? So you could do whatever, you, I mean, you could even just use that and put a sentiment on. You don't have to do everything. Oh, I remember to, you know, my other hot tip was grab your, um, your pre-cut um, pieces like I showed on my page earlier um, sometime in the few, last few days. Now you can even put a little bit of designer series paper in there or you can um, grab your stamp, grab one of your stamps um, with Mossy Meadow and Moss, Mossy Meadow is quite dark so I'm going to stamp off and onto there. There we go. Cool. Oh, there you go. All right. Well, so glad I'm back and happy to see that people enjoyed, sorry, joined me. Um, if you didn't, hopefully you enjoyed, um, you catch the replay um, and I will post it up at 8.30 tonight in my normal time slot so people don't miss it. But yeah, jump on. It has been very popular, this All Autumn Bundle, but Bumble, <laughs> Bundle. So if you do like it, jump on and be sure to um, purchase these beautiful products. They are lovely. So there you go. Have a lovely weekend. Weekend is going to be amazing weather. Where's my other card? Amazing weather. Um, so get out and enjoy it. I certainly am to get rid of all the bugs. And there's my two beautiful cards. Thanks heaps, guys. Bye.